first things first, we need to put the toilet rolls in the seed tray. James, can you help with this? Yeah. Put it all in the seed tray. Mm. Got it. Right way up? Yeah, just like yeah. that. That's perfect. How many have we got? Eight. Do you think they'll all fit in? No. I think One there, doesn't fit in. I think there is space. They need to be packed quite tightly. Best. Yeah. Right, how many have we got? Oh, eight. Martha's found the other one. Thank you. Right, now put them in the put them in the seed tray. Can you put them in the seed tray. Now we're going to fill them with compost, okay? okay. So these... Um... I'll use this one. Martha, do you want to help? Do you want to do some digging? Yeah. So fill each of the toilet rolls with compost almost to the top, all right? How are you doing? You can, it's fine. Maybe we just like... Hold, hold the toilet roll while you do it. It. Perfect, James. That's brilliant. It doesn't matter if it spills because we can tidy that up afterwards. Ah. Yeah, you can lift the toilet roll up. Right, should we start again? Yeah. We need to take them out. Take them out. Yeah. Right, so we've managed to fill the um, toilet rolls with compost yeah. now. You need to yeah. push the compost down. No, that's all right, Martha. Thank you. <laughs> you need to push the soil down so that you've got no air pockets. Um, no, but that's enough now, Martha. Good girl. Right, James, can you put the bean in, please? So one bean in each. Hang on, Martha, and then you can put... Right, cover the bean up, Martha. Good girl. Cover the bean up. Brilliant. Brilliant. Right, one in each. Brilliant, Martha. Are you covering them up? Okay. Right, now we need to cover them up with soil, okay? Compost. No, don't take it out, Martha. Leave it in. Good girl, leave it in. Maybe we just quickly put it. That's fine, that's fine. Are you helping? Not over a head, Jane, because it might spill on the head and go in her eyes. This one is quite funny. and her eyes and everything. Good girl, Mark. Are you going to put some on here? I'm going to put some on here. Good girl. Brilliant work. Mm -hmm. Right, we're nearly done, aren't we? This one might grow at the side of Yeah, a bit more in there. This one might grow at the Well, look, side. we've got loads here. We can just put some on yeah. there. Done. Fantastic, oh, everybody. James, I'm doing a video. Look at my tummy, Martha. Look at my tummy. I want to see your tummy. That means the tummy. Well, you're showing it to her. Right, that's enough now. Thank you. Yeah, 
there, you've done brilliant help. Well done, Martha. Hiya. Hiya. or you haven't got a packet of peas from the garden centre. I've used these before, just dried peas that you make the soup from. And if you put a handful in a dish, most of them will germinate, but some may not. But that's just totally a few peas, so it's not very much to waste if you haven't got anything else to get on. Right. These are the peas after they've been soaked. And they're a little bit soft, but they're not starting to germinate. You can't see the little root coming out yet, but they have swelled. They are a little bit larger. I'm just going to use one of these uh, takeaway containers to put the peas in um, to grow. I'm um, just going to put a little bit of compost in there. Um, this compost hasn't been used before, but it's been hanging around a bit. Now I'm going to put the peas on and just spread them around. And they they will need a little bit more water. But what I'm going to suggest is that if you've only got a windowsill and it's quite dark, some uh, children that I uh, help at school with growing, we've made these boxes. I've just got an ordinary cardboard box. Can you see the line I've drawn down there and along? I'm going to cut that and on that side so that it will make like a reflective box so there'll be more light to stimulate germination. Good morning, I'm Chris from Incredible Edible. I'm just following on from Joy who started the peas germinating in her windowsill using the aluminium foil to maximize the light and the heat. I started these a few months ago and I haven't used them as yet so I'm glad I've waited uh, because uh, I didn't realize that you can put a lot of peas in at once because you're not really growing them to you know for the summer for the pea pods you're just growing them for the for the greens so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the tops off and maybe I'll get more side shoots so that they'll grow a little bit thicker like Joy I've just used one of these um, plastic salad cartons that uh, you can get in any of the supermarkets and obviously use fresh compost and normally I would just eat it as it is but mm, actually they taste delicious but if you for those of you who you know feel that you need to wash them you could just put them in a bowl of water soak them up get some kitchen roll and just dry them off and this is a salad that I made a few minutes ago which I'm going to eat when I finish recording and on it uh, I've got some rocket which unfortunately I've not grown cottage cheese bit of apple 
bit of coriander, spring onion, tomatoes and feta cheese because I love that and I'm just going to uh, sprinkle these on top and just add it and then I might make myself an omelette or something to go with it and that will be my healthy lunch because I've been told I'm pre-diabetic so I need to watch what I'm eating so I'm trying to um, uh, not eat so many fatty foods um, hope that helps everyone really it's all about just having a go um, I'll show you something here I found a piece of ginger and I just cut it off and I've just put it in the soil and I'm hoping that you know it'll spread and grow it's just a wait and see so happy planting bye for now